us at Belito. We are at the Grace Family Church in Belito for the Woman of Hope project. We're here to capture some photos and video for you guys to see on our social media platforms. I hope you enjoy and get to see what the ladies have done over the last couple of weeks. Enjoy. Good morning guys. I'm with Colleen from Woman of Hope. Good morning Colleen. Morning. Can you start off by telling me a little bit about Woman of Hope? And in your place. Yeah, I'd love to. It's such a um, blessing and joyful experience in my life. So, and in our lives. Um, so, Woman of Hope is actually um, it's actually Uwezi Fazali on a timber, which basically means Woman of Hope. So that's how it started. Um, and um, yeah, it started uh, to uh, give ladies the opportunity to um, like we we call it a skills transfer and mentorship program to teach the ladies the art of dressmaking so that they can put uh, food on their table and restore their dignity and not only for themselves but for others in the community and also that they would come to know uh, the love of Jesus and thereby become beautiful, um, confident women full of hope. So that is our vision statement and that, that is what, what we do. So it's more than just a sewing program. Yeah. Um, we, we obviously walk a road with the ladies um, and uh, yeah, so we, we, we've got a team of, 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 of us, and so it's not only, only me, but uh, Sebi who started the, started the vision with, he works from Adler's, and uh, she does the sort of um, uh, teaching, and um, every morning when we arrive we have a time of devotion, and singing, and really hope that ladies will, will yeah, really experience the love of Jesus. And um, obviously Jenny as well, who the three of us started it, um, and sat down and worked out that there was a real need to, um, for ladies to, to create employment um, and, and also work from home. So that's how it, it, it started. Um, and, uh, and it's just grown from there. We're very blessed to have Grace Church who, who we work with. Okay. This is, it's, it's an incredible project. How many how many projects have you had in the past? When did it start? Um, it started three years ago. Okay. So we st we did start the first one at Live because um, I was running the clothing company and we had to close the clothing company now. So obviously those ladies now have no employment and also some of the mothers on the village. And um, we looked at start training for the ladies to go on into um, factories, um, but we, we obviously there weren't, there weren't that many factories. And also, so many of the ladies were getting these beautiful outfits made from foreigners in town, and we said, why don't you make your own outfit? So it's very much to create employment and similar economy in their own community. Um, so we've had, um, to answer your question, we've run three. So we ran the first one, which was an advanced course, which the ladies were so ready. So we just took them to another level, uh, pattern making, and I took the DUT curriculum and sort of um, broke it down. And, um, and, the and then, um, then we realised the ladies um, who wanted to sew had needed to have a beginner's course. So we started the beginner's course, and we, in collaboration with Grace Aid, and they um, got the machines for us, and, um, and we, we, we work with them. They donate everything, so wow. supply. I, I buy the material, and they refund it. Well, then the community, how can they assist? in future and going forward with the project if they want to. Um, sure, yeah, we would love um, any help. We really uh, want to appreciate that. I think um, we, we, would, we really obviously um, need machines, because um, sewing machines, so second-hand machines are obviously only second-hand machines are very well. Because so now, a lot of these ladies now that they've reached so, would like to sew a coat. I and mean, then they don't have um, machines available to continue sewing. Okay. So that is firstly what we really like to do. We'd like to be, we let them play a school here, just because we, we just think it's better than just giving. But I mean, obviously use that, but very little, you know, three or four hundred rand or something like that. Um, but then if we do, um, and, and um, over and above that, we want you to have our own, so we don't have to set up and pack up um, in the church here. So Mark has allowed for us to have um, place at the back. And so we obviously we would like um, containers um, so that we can put together and make into one big area. Okay. So they have our own facility. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. we, can, we don't have to always pack up and walk up with a beautiful big cutting table and we can just have our own place. Mm. That would be ideal. So that would be we would need help. Let's hope and pray that the, yeah. the community can Yeah, any it. little thing helps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. We do, um, Kerry, um, who does, who's, so we've obviously, like I said, got the team. Um, so Kerry does all the administrative financial side. So if anybody is interested um, in any small amount, whatever, anything, anything is possible, it's scary to keep it. One of the questions that I'd like to ask Colleen is COVID and lockdown, how, this is, how has this affected you guys? Um, yeah, so I think obviously for all of us, it was quite a um, shock, you know, with COVID and that. But, and uh, initially, we were, as, as a church, uh, we were concerned about setting up in the so we started thinking about how um, you know, to, to uh, food possible. And then, you know, with suddenly realizing, sure, it's a demand for masks. And we saw it. So um, we then um, embarked on a huge mask. Um, uh, and we actually made close to 20,000 masks. And uh, so the day, so we would cut here and then get the masks to the way and packs. And they would sew the masks and bring them back. Tell me about the graduation that's going to be held soon. Yes, so we're very excited. The graduation is a wonderful time of celebration. Um, and you know, just to go back a little bit to what we did with the sewing, um, is that we, um, obviously we, we say we're more than a sewing course, so right. obviously I know the ladies um, come from poverty and almost have their dignity and stripped away. So what happens is when they come here, they sew firstly um, their confidence and self-esteem and even nervous to be on the machine and slowly each week as we do the teaching um, we, we start to build an office so the first week they come and they can be teaching us to the machine and we do a very basic um, head wrap and then go to a sash and slowly each week we do an outfit of clothing so that by the end of the 12 weeks we've actually built uh, a whole complete outfit in beautiful bright colors so graduation is actually um, the ladies um, modeling Colleen, can you tell me a little bit about Grace 8, please? Yes, I'd love to. Um, so right when we initially started the project, I had a relationship with Rick Benitra from Grace 8. He heads up uh, Grace 8 at Grace Church. And, um, and together we work on in collaboration with them. Um, so that's Grace Aid is the, the NGO side of Grace Church. And so they are um, missions and justice, so we, we fall um, under them. And um, yeah, and as, as a whole of Grace Church, I'm really very, very grateful. Mark and Mandy, um, the pastors from here, um, are incredibly supportive. And obviously allow us to use the venue and everybody that works here, um, packs up and does everything for us. So we're very grateful to them. That's incredible. I would like to ask a couple of other questions. Okay. Um, one word, I need you to describe the letter without using the words Beach, sun, and sea. Okay, I think for me what the nature is, is generous. De generous, got it, well okay. done. <laughs> uh, the people in the nature are very generous. That's lovely, I love it. Okay, what would be your favorite place in the nature to go to? Um, the market. Um, I love going to the market and just enjoy the whole vibe there. Yeah, and I've seen a beautiful thing like that. Awesome. What is your favorite food? Uh, definitely curry. Uh, it's somewhere in Belita that you yes? Um, sure. Okay, no, in Phoenix, actually, I've got a Phoenix part of it, but that's because I that live. Yeah. But um, in Belita, as such, um, well, I'm at, at Bob's, actually, I don't like the curry. So I love um, a whole thing of fine curry. <laughs> um, what is your favorite activity or hobby, whether it be personal or with your family or um, I think okay, I sorry. <laughs> so that's definitely um, my, my number one hobby. And then secondly, I do love cooking. So we had a restaurant for quite a few years, and so I think my other favorite thing is just to cook and have family and friends around. Awesome, love it. Favorite time of the year in Belita? Yeah, I thought about that. Um, I think I have to say Easter, sort of April, because uh, obviously with the humidity and, and that. And, so sort of April is a good time of the year, also because it's Easter, um, family are normally around, but also because it's um, a lovely time in Belita. 
And what is your most memorable moment that you've had in Melita? No, that may not be such an easy question. No, 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 no. I think the most memorable thing is my husband works in the Congo, so he comes back, um, and so I think the memorable thing is that we, yeah, we come back. We actually go for a drink at the galley, which I know is not everybody knows, but we just love the position. So I think just him coming home, fishing from the airport, driving to the galley, and all that. Absolutely, on the beach. Yeah, on the beach. I want you to do me a favor. I need you to go through slowly the Zulu word of woman and hope and just break it down for me so that I can try and say it because I've been struggling. So I need you to go for this for me. Let me try. Okay. I'm happy you said it because the Zulu ladies love this word. Yes. So every time you say it, they go, they like basically. So it's always the Zani. Always the Zani. So that means woman. Pagani yep. means woman. And oh ne temba, which means hope. Oh ne temba. Okay, so now you need to say it one more time, complete for me. Okay. Oh where's he pagani? Oh ne temba. Where's he pagani? Oh ne temba. Yes. Thank you very much, Colleen. And all the best for these wonderful ladies. And I hope this project grows and goes on to bigger and I'm going to say better things, I don't know, but bigger things for sure. Thank you so much for the time. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you so much for the opportunity. It's always really a pleasure uh, to talk about it. So thank you for getting us this time. Absolute, absolute pleasure. Thank you and so much. And all the best. Yeah, so the graduation. It's a Belita as well. It's a Belita thing. It's a Belita yeah, we thing. Come. Absolutely. All the best with that. I think it's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.